After multiple trials throughout North America, Puma Football sent 16 youth players on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Italy, training with Italian national team coaches, meeting some of the world's best players, and playing against one of Europe's top youth academies makes for a soccer experience they'll never forget. So we finally made it to Florence, and here we are now at beautiful Coverciano, which is the home of the Italian national team. And I know our players are excited to train on the exact same pitches as some of the greatest footballers in Italian history. So let's go check it out. When I first heard they were playing against Fiorentina, I was a bit worried because it's Fiorentina, they're one of the best youth academies in Italy, but they're actually looking pretty good. You know, you have Luca in the back, he looks really strong. He's a hard physical player. I'm very aggressive. Uh, I like to put in some hard tackles. It feels nice, it feels good. Clean tackles, clean, uh, clean solid tackles. A uh, few that were a bit dirty, but overall, yeah, I had some nice tackles. You have John Piero who is like a captain leadership type and he's shown that in every single session. He's a center, defensive midfielder. You could tell he's got that captain mentality in him. They're relatively new together, so you need somebody like that who takes the responsibility on himself to communicate as well as correct guys when they're making mistakes and that, that true leadership quality that he has. On the attacking end, you have a guy like Miguel, uh, a kid from New York, who uh, really creative on the ball, really dynamic, really crafty. I'm excited to see him get at the attack and try to like stretch the defense a little bit and open them up. Elijah's another good outside back that's here. You know, he's a two-way outside back, a very modern style. He likes to get into the attack, but also takes pride in his defensive abilities, at least from what I've seen, so I think he should offer something up in the game tomorrow. Sebastian over this way, young goalkeeper, huge, big frame. I think there's probably a lot of people watching him tomorrow because he's got so much potential. He's still pretty raw, he's still pretty green, but he's got so much upside he can develop and train. And then Mehdi is like, that's my guy. He's like going to be the guy who runs the, controls the flow of the game, your creative guy, that offensive spark, really good on the ball, dynamic attacking midfielder, still a guy that I think has the experience and the creativity to really create a spark and actually show something that's more than just connecting the ball or connecting the passes. He should have that ability to have that X factor to create something special in the game. Getting on the field uh, for the first time felt great. I got a few touches on the ball, ran a bit, felt a bit rusty, but overall, yeah, it's been good. Well, it, it went down pretty well. It was a different style of like, training. We don't do this much in, uh, in Canada. It was pretty tiring at first, but I think the warm-up actually helped. They, like, it stretched us a bit and we were ready to play. The, the coach, he wants to play it around the back and keep it a uh, possession until we can find an option to play forward. He wants us also not to drop off, always press the, the holder of the ball as a team, of course, because if one steps, there's gaps in between us. And uh, he just wants us really to play as a team with great chemistry. The practice is over, but it's not all business here. We're going to have a little bit of fun. It's time for a crossbar challenge. <laughs> I'm more of a goal scorer, you know? Oh! 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 What, is, what was the feeling that you had when you hit the crossbar? Especially against Mike in the final. That had to feel good, right? His ball had helium in it. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to dab again, you know? <laughs> I just wanted to celebrate again. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. After a long day that included two training sessions, the team is now less than a day away from playing their match against Fiorentina. Tune in to episode four, where the boys take on one of the best youth development academies in Europe. <laughs>